People don't know what they want. On the air? Yeah, we're on the air. Oh. I well, mean, you know, I like a wholesome relationship, and um, I think it's better to start out uh, being friends and dating and then get to the physical fully and with a commitment that they're just going to be seeing nobody else because there's too much diseases out there. And also, it's, it, it's better if you have feelings for somebody. What's the thing with the feelings? Well, what way? Chemistry. They have chemistry. All right. So what is it about? Yeah, what is it about a relationship that you want? You know. Uh, I've only been going out with this person now for a couple of years. Um, seeing today, seeing after dinner, takes me to the grocery store, and then we're going out to dinner. But I don't have that much feelings for him. I know him from my involved dancing. Another place, and we're just more good friends. And I, I'm interested in somebody else. So it's harder when you get older to find people that you just, you know, be, that there's just that you know you click with, you know, you feel strong chemistry with. It just happens, you know. The chemistry you just want to like. No, the chemistry is when you have uh, feelings for the person like a magnet. It's just the you know immediate. Um, like yeah. attraction, you know, it just happens. Like uh, sometimes not right away, but you know, um, sometimes after a while. And 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 then if you just have feelings, develop a good mental report you with the physical, then it's good. Well, when was your last like kind of relationship like that, where you just uh, where you've seen stars and like all that? Bed? What what was last like phys I mean um, relationship like that where you were uh, just where you felt all that where you felt what you were just explaining there how huh? you just felt like magnetic um, just attraction uh, just everything feels mm -hmm. right. Well, I, I had that with a woman. I had a relationship with a woman where it was good. I mean, even though you, I know you're not open to gay relationships, but um, you know, I don't mind two. I don't mind two women. I didn't. I just don't. I never gonna be with a guy in my, ever in my life. I mean, it's just. Yeah, I, I like women, so it, so it doesn't matter if it's one, two, or three. She was Irish and she moved away to a different state, but um, it was good with her while it lasted. But then she had children and grandchildren. She thought they would. Well, maybe. Me. And then I was uh, attracted to this guy, uh, not right away, but he gave me a lot of attention, and I felt strong sympathy for him. But he wasn't, he's not ready for a relationship with me, or, you know, I don't know with any woman, I know not with me, he's just kind of uh, getting things together in his head, and I don't know. Um, so how's the cop? How's the cop? How's the cop? Well? That this was the cop they called? No, the, the policeman was way out of line. He, he, I talked to him for, he wasn't talking for hours, but he kept calling me, calling me, calling me. Now I know what it is like to call somebody too much, that it's not good. And then he started talking about sex and it turned me off because I never met him. And uh, he said he wanted a long-term relationship. He was talking about his body, how good-looking he was, and all this. And how, how I would be disappointed and he wanted a long-term thing. But, you know, I don't even know it. My, you know, looks are somewhat important, but to me it's just how they treat you with everything. You know, you could have chemistry with somebody that somebody else wouldn't think is good looking, but to you they are. So, look, it's, it's not just the looks, it's how they treat you with everything. Well, since you're, okay. you, okay, since you're a frequent caller, do you want to, what, what, do you want to have like a caller name, or what do you want to go by? Do you want to like, when I call this one talk show, uh, they know me as the surfer. You know, like when you call a talk show, so you just have like a name. <laughs> you want to be called Ginger, uh, or you want to be like, is there? Do you have any nicknames? Uh, you have any nicknames? Uh, nickname? Or anything? Uh, yeah. We ever called anything else? How about, on how about cuddles? Cuddles? <laughs> yeah. We are we are live. Uh, we are on the air live with cuddles. Cuddles. I just thought that. It was cute. I, I don't know. I just thought it. Uh, anyhow, um, I, I, this guy, I didn't want to meet because I didn't like the way he was talking. I don't like guys that talk about sex and what, what they're going to, you know, 
want to do with you, you don't even met him. It's too fast. So I hung up on him. And that was it. What do you mean? You just came out? You know, I talked to you for a while, so it's different, you know. He just came out and said what he wants to do? Well, uh... <laughs> it sounds funny. I mean... He just was too graphic, and I, I, I don't know, I didn't appreciate it. I, I can't, it. I didn't, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to do it. I didn't, wasn't interested in any, you know, I didn't, I hung up on him, he says, well, I asked, he says he can sing, I said, let's hear a song, and then he says, I'll only sing a song if you let me make love to you, and I explain what's going on. Uh, well, like, what, what's he do? What, 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 what is, like, we're... I don't like to be talked to like that, that's all. I don't like to be talked to like that. It's different if you're going out with somebody and you know somebody well, but I don't think that's appropriate conversation. Do you? Well, I mean, you just met him. Um, I don't know. I don't... Where'd you meet him? Where'd you, you met him on a ballroom dancing, or where'd you meet him? Where'd that, it was... No, there's a guy there I know from ballroom dancing that I've seen. I'm going to have a car and Ooh. we're going to eat and then I'm going to go dance by myself. I have a thing. He, he, he plays golf now all the time. He doesn't do ballroom dancing anymore. He used to do it all the time. Well, I mean, but when I was single, I used to hang by the frozen food section. Like, I used to go to a market and just sit by the frozen foods and, like, you know, it, it would it'd be a nice place to meet women. Because you, you, you wouldn't believe all, like all the frozen pizzas and ice cream they get and, and, and stuff like that. The, the french fries, the onion rings, the, all those healthy dinners. Like, not just kidding with you. I'm playing with you. Well, I'm particular what I eat. Try to make a joke. No, you're particular. Oh, yeah, we eat. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I forgot to eat. Okay. Lately, because I've been frustrated. I really, you know, this guy to me, I want to end it with him a long time ago. And as soon as I meet the right person, it's over with him. The same as Joe, this guy, because um, I, I don't have, strong, he's more like a friend, I don't have any strong feelings for him or anything, I've known him for a while, a long time, and uh, I'm a one-on-one -on -one person, I'm only sexually with one person at a time, because of all... Well, how long, how long do relationships, how long... trust men and say, that I don't know, that say they're just going to be with you or anybody, because you don't know what they do when they're not with you. How long do relation? How long do relationships last? You usually for? Well, I've known this guy a couple of years. I've been having a relationship with him a couple of years. Well, that's 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 so nice. It depends on the person. Um, I had that woman a couple of years. Uh, sometimes a few months. It depends. It depends with that. Well, young guy was like six months, uh, but then he was too young, only thirty six. So. He usually just made love to me. I didn't make love to him. But he was very passive. He, you know, I'm really, um, he didn't want to make a commitment, and he don't, you know, so I don't take any chances. So that's how it went. Well, other than that, everything's fine. Uh, but have a good time. Uh, just concentrate just in the moment here. I mean, what? Concentrate, I mean, you never know. I mean, you might, you might meet, I mean, you might meet a nice guy I like, today. I like this certain person, oh, but he's yeah. not emotionally available. Well, who is he? And, what? Who is he? Yeah. Is he from, is he from California? Where is he from? Same city. Where? Sacramento. He's from me. He lives here in Sacramento. Well, then you can go for it. Shy. Oh, you like the shy types? Yeah, I, I like more passive men than the super aggressive, and then he gets scared of me. So, um, you know, but he's playing a lot of games. So I don't know where he's at. I, I think he's going through a transition. So, I, you know, I may have to just accept it that he's, he's not available for anything, so and that's life, you know? Well. Yeah, and that's. It's hard, you know, it's hard to find a good, healthy relationship, and I, um, he, maybe he doesn't believe that I really care about him, you know, a lot of times it's, 
men are different. They're uh, it's hard for them to be intimate, hard for them to believe that somebody cares about them. I, I don't know how men think. Wow, this that is what cool. That's so. That's so. Yeah, that's that, that's a, a unbelievable uh, topic. You know, men and women. You know, I mean, because do men actually understand women? I understand women. See, I understand women. Well, but is, is it hard for you to believe a woman cares about you? Really cares about you? Is that hard for you to believe it? No, it's not hard to believe. Well, I, I, I don't know. I really don't understand him. It's very confusing. So. Um, uh, he's going, I, I, I just uh, think it's better to be with people that uh, are available. Available. Emotionally available oh, and yeah. are consistent and um, sometimes you like somebody and they're, they're not available so you yeah. have to just deal with it and let it go and the time is right then it's right and if it's not going to be right then it won't be right but you know it's kind of hard. Um, People sometimes give you mixed messages because they don't know what they want. And they're, they're confused themselves, or they're just sometimes a man is attracted to a woman, but he's not in a place where he's able to go out with you for certain reasons. Like uh, he's not over past relationships. That's a big one. Other commitments with family. Yeah, but you don't know what's, what's going on in somebody's life. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a big one right there. You mentioned it. You know, that's when you're ready. When you're, you just you just mentioned one of the biggest things. You said um, uh, when they're if they're like distracted, if they're like if they're what if they're distracted, if they're like like um, still not over a previous relationship or something, because then you know they're not ready. See, if someone is ready, they're not thinking about nothing other than you or the next person that is in their life or whoever they're with. Or maybe, uh, or maybe they have too much responsibility with their family, grandkids. When they have kids, they have grandkids and kids, and they, and they uh, they're, you know, they want sex, but they don't want the, they don't want the commitment part, and that's important with a woman, the commitment part. A lot, a lot of people, you, yeah. A lot of, well, a lot of people I know are, are with people, but they're really, you know, they're just with them. You know, I mean, they even marry to them, they have kids, but, you know, they're just not, um, they're not really emotionally involved with the person. You know, it becomes humdrum. I know. like romance. I think romance, yeah. uh, whether I'm with a man or with a woman, I think romance well, is a very well, yeah. uh, big key in a relationship. Right. And, um, um, I think if I'm with somebody, it's a private thing, what, what goes on intimately. And uh, like I tell some people, or a couple of people, that you know, not everybody, but who I like. But I mean, it's really private. You know what you do with somebody. You know, it's a personal thing, and uh, it's very special to find somebody you care about. It's not a public uh, display of affection. So I don't. Well, you're a nice person. You're. I don't. Advertisements of that. You seem like a really, really, really nice person to me. To me? Yeah. I think, I think I'm genuine, I'm real, I'm very loyal, and uh, really? this person I, that I care about doesn't even appreciate that. He doesn't even want to know. He doesn't, he's afraid to know even who I am. So, uh, oh, I mean, he's really uh, move on. Yeah, yeah. he's a friend that he's like hot and cold all the time. Yeah, well, I have a girl like that too. I mean, uh, so I just moved on. You know, uh, that's your answer. Well, I'm not going out with this guy that I've been going out. I'm not crazy about him. He's okay. He's a friend. He's consistent. And, um, so that's, you know, you can't always get what you want, but you get what's there, and uh, he's okay I'm not getting seriously involved with him because I don't have that much feelings, but I have like him as a friend, and, you know, and uh, we, we fool around a little bit, and that's it, and that's okay, but, you know, if you really, really care about somebody, you want more, you know, but I don't care, if, you know, I, I, I'm willing just depends on the situation and what people agree upon, but I think uh, one on one, no matter how much feelings or little feelings, I'm very true and loyal to one person. Like if I met, if I was, if I got involved with somebody else, had more feelings for, I would drop this guy and be with the other person, you know, that I had more feelings for. Because that's only really fair, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if uh, we have understanding too, I told you know where we're at, you know, I'm honest with everybody. And a lot of people aren't honest, and that's not good. 
you know, in relationships, I think people should be honest and say, well, this is how we feel, this is where we're at. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Cut and dry, that's, that's, that's how it should be. That's how it should be. That, that's how it is. What do you think? I agree everything you guys you're all you're right on the money on everything you, you you say. That's why I'm saying you're a good person, you're a good girl, you're a good woman, and it's just like you you know, I mean and you are you're a great conversationalist. Uh I, I, I are they all like that over there in Sacramento? Maybe I gotta stop that. No, there's a lot of diamonds and games, and I'm this one guy, I've known him for years. Up here you don't get you don't get too much. Thank you. 